Hello, welcome back to my channel. So let's talk about Indy and Harry in this last episode of Love After Lockup. So this dude, Harry, literally just got pulled over for driving without a license and got a ticket for it. And Indy already has this fool driving her car again. At least the kid's not in the back seat this time. But they're driving. They're on their way to a date night that he planned. And she was all excited because they haven't really had too much one-on-one -on -one time since he's been out of prison. Because it's either her kid constantly around or his family constantly around. So she's all hyped for this. So they go do like this ropes course for a date and Indy's gushing over Harry the whole time. And meanwhile, he's sitting there telling producers he's talking to two different women, Indy and someone else. And he doesn't know which one he likes more than the other. He can't make up his mind. He's pretty much playing the both of them. And so they're doing this ropes course and she's gushing over him. And she's like, you know what? Black people don't do this type of stuff. She's all scared to cross the ropes. And right after they cross this one rope, she's like, you know what? You know what you're about to get tonight? you're about to get some booty and he said oh yeah I'm about to get that stank booty fresh out the jungle gym and she said I'll take a shower he said you better and she's sitting there giggling and I'm like man this dude straight sat there and told you you stink on national tv like I feel so bad for Andy because she's constantly like talking so good about him gushing over him and all her confessionals and then Harry's turning around doing a total 180 on her and making her look bad every chance he gets and Indy's mind was sore and she was on cloud nine after they got done doing this ropes course and all of a sudden she said if we can do stuff like this talking about the ropes course then we can do stuff like babies and marriage which those are two completely different things neither one of you guys are working you're living with Harry's sister and you guys can barely take care of yourself there's no this is not the time to bring a baby into the world whatsoever and Harry he didn't want to kill the vibe because they just had a good date so he was just joking around with her saying oh yeah maybe babies and so the producers asked Harry if he wanted to have babies he said he is not ready for babies whatsoever right now and they asked him if he was using protection with Indy and he said no and they said you do know what happens when you don't use protection right and he said what and they said you get pregnant you have babies he said that's not what happens. It's something called the pull-out method. I'm like, Harry, <laughs> take it from somebody who has a daughter as a result of the pull-out method. That does not always work. And obviously it hasn't worked too well for Harry either because he has a daughter. So they're sitting there and Indy's talking about how she has such high hopes for her and Harry's future. They sit down, have a little chat together and talk about the hiccups they've gotten through in the past which was related to Harry's cheating in the halfway house. And Harry sat there and said, are you ready to get out of here? So they're about to get out of there and all of a sudden Harry's phone buzzes and it's sitting there right on the table and Indy looks down and all of a sudden her whole mood changed. She was in a bad mood. She got up and started walking towards the door. And Harry jumps up and he starts chasing after Indy, asking why her whole mood suddenly changed. And she said, I saw the text. And he said, what text? She said, from T-Baby. And she told producers that she saw a T-Baby texting uh, Harry and it had all these heart and love emojis and Harry was just like oh god she said so I shouldn't give a F and he said no and he said that's not Indy's place to be mad whatsoever but Indy's your girl and here you are I got another girl saved on your phone with all these heart and love emojis when Indy's the only one that should be saved under your phone like that I would be mad too but it almost seemed like Harry was excited that this actually happened because when they showed the text this tea baby girl which is actually Terry Lynn she was messaging him saying, oh, hey, daddy, I want some of that D. Are you going to come over tonight? Are we going to spend time together? So this seemed like Terry was actually excited because this was the perfect opportunity for them to get in a fight so he could go see his little tea baby for the night. And that's another reason why you could tell that Harry was kind of happy that happened because he didn't even really try to chase after Indy when she stormed out and left. So she sat there and went to her car, waited for a few seconds. She's like, you know what? There's no reason for me to stay. I'm going to go ahead and go home. And she left and Harry was sitting there texting T-Baby and the producers asked him where he was going to stay for the night and who that girl was. And he's like, I don't want to talk about it. None of your business. 
So it's the next morning, and Indy wakes up. She's at Harry's sister's house, and she wakes up all alone after Harry didn't come home all night long again. And then they show Harry. And where is he of all places? T-Baby's house. He spent the night at her house. And this girl was a halfway house advisor, and she lost her job because of Harry, because she was working at the halfway house he was staying at. And she said she don't know what it is, but all of a sudden she had something for Harry. And she ended up losing her job over this fool. And she, you can tell she's a smart girl because she had like a book on her desk for school to be a physician. So she's studying like some hardcore medical stuff. And Harry's sitting there and he don't have nothing to offer but some D. And I think the only reason that she kind of thought that he was something special is because she probably found out he was going to be on a TV show. And she straight asked Harry, what is going on with you and Indy? If you want me to be in your life, you need to cut things off with Indy. Like, this is not going to work. And Harry's like, well, I'm here, ain't I? I'm not with Indy. But she's like, still, you need to stop playing games. You need to cut it off with Indy. If you want to be in a me, it just has to be all me. And you can tell that Harry is head over heels in love with this girl. Because the way he was looking at this girl, I have never seen him look at Indy like that once. And this chick has more for him to use. She has her own house, her own car. He doesn't have to deal with being shacked up with his sister with all these kids. This girl doesn't have no kids. And he loves the opportunity that she presents. She's going to school to get her medical degree. And you know that Harry is just loving all that because that means more for Harry in the long term. And then Andy, you know, driving around all sad. I wish she would have took her butt back to Maryland like yesterday. But thank God in present time, spoiler alert, she is back in Maryland and moved on from Harry finally, thank God. But here she is in a whole nother state where she dragged her daughter not working. She doesn't have no support financially or from her family. And she did it all for this man who's for everybody. Well, and obviously you can tell where his heart really is. And that's with Terry Lynn. So Andy's driving around all depressed. And all of a sudden her mom calls her. And you know, a mom knows her daughter best. And she could tell that something was off with Andy. She kept asking her, what's wrong? Where's Harry? And Andy was like, nothing. You know, I'm just tired. And she hurried up and got her mom off the phone with a quickness. But her mom was demanding what was wrong, what was going on. She's like, do I need to take my butt up to Ohio? And Andy was like, like, everything's okay. Don't worry about it. And I'm hoping we're getting close to that scene. Hopefully in the next episode or two. Where we get to see Indy's mom in the car. Pretending she's Indy. And Harry jump in. And he thinks that he's sitting there talking to Indy. And all of a sudden her mom looks over. And it's like, mm, surprise, plot twist. It's not Indy. It's her mom. I can't wait for that scene. And hopefully when her mom comes up to Ohio. That's when Indy decides to pack all her bags and go back to Maryland with her mom. I hope that's what she does because every day she just spends in Ohio, she's just wasting another day away on some dude who doesn't know what the heck he wants. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts about everything in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.